What's up everybody? This is a new video series I'm doing called Bass for Beginners, where I get to break down some helpful things if you're just getting into bass fishing. So the, for the first video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about three rods that you should buy uh, when you're starting to bass fish. Uh, one big mistake people make when they start fishing is they buy one rod and reel, and they use it for everything that they buy, every lure, every kind of fishing style. And you'll find out that certain rods and reels are optimized for certain types of fishing. So if you buy three, that can cover a lot of bases and cover most lures you would typically throw. Um, so I'm going to go with three rods I think that everyone should have, um, period, but also three rods that are great for just getting started. So the first one I'm going to start with is a seven-foot medium action uh, spinning rod, and you're going to want that to be, uh, it'll say fast as well. Uh, that's going to cover a lot of single hook lures, jigs, soft plastics, um, stuff that's typically easier lures to fish, um, but enough backbone to where um, the fish isn't going to be jumping off and getting off all the time on the lighter action stuff. So when I was mostly doing spinning gear, uh, that's what I used a lot. I had great success for that for bass fishing, unless you're in like Florida or Texas or California where the bass are bigger on average, lots of really heavy cover. Um, a seven foot medium action spinning rod's a great all around rod. Throw a lot of different lures. The second rod I'm going to say is something on the lighter side. Now, this might, might not be everyone's first idea when it's bass fishing, but that's going to be a six and a half to seven foot medium light spinning rod. And the reason I say this is that there's going to be some situations you're in where the water is smaller, you're in tighter spaces, um, and it helps to have a rod that is smaller and lighter action if you're in a smaller body of water. So when I'm creek fishing or I'm fishing in small rivers I'm wading in, I'm usually using lighter action, smaller lures, and so a medium light rod is going to be great for that. I usually use a six and a half. It's a little shorter. I can make more accurate casts and I'm not getting hung up in trees behind me um, and other stuff like that. And it's great to fight smaller fish on lighter action. When I'm going into these small rivers and ponds and stuff like that, I'm not expecting to catch a giant. I'm typically catching bass between 10 and 15 inches long. And a medium action spinning rod sometimes is a little much for that. And um, a lot of times the medium action rods are longer. So a medium light, six and a half foot, you could do seven, but six and a half, you can get into more places. So six and a half medium light. Third rod, now this is kind of be more on the advanced side of things. For people that are also trying to get into bait casting, um, and what I would recommend for that, for a bait casting first bait casting setup, would be a medium heavy seven four seven six uh, rod. It's a longer rod, but it's going to give you more control of your lures. It's a little uh, beefier, so you're going to be able to catch bigger fish, fight um, smaller fish easier, uh, and I'm not worrying about getting off the hook. And also, it can apply to a lot of different applications bait-wise. So for a starting bait casting setup, medium-heavy is hard to, hard to beat. Um, and there's lots of different actions you can go with along with that. Um, I like either a fast action or a moderate fast action. These will cover most lures that you can throw in bass fishing. And it's just a good all-around. And it's not too much where it kind of becomes difficult to cast but it's not uh, too light where you're wearing yourself out in every fish you catch. So those are the three rods I would recommend to someone just get into fishing. I'm not going to really go into reels because um, that can come down to more personal preference, and it just kind of depends on the brand a lot of times as far as um, what the individual reels are going to look at. So I'm going to, in the comments below, um, well, not the comments, in the bio, I'm going to link three rods of the style I mentioned um, from Arden Outdoors. And then for, as far as reels go, check out what they have. Um, you can take a look at those and see what kind of would think look good on those particular rods or feel good to you, um, the kind of fishing you're doing. Uh, but the three rods I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link a medium heavy bay casting, I'm gonna link a medium spinning, and then a medium light spinning. Um, there might not be exactly like a six and a half medium light. It might be a six foot medium light, but you get kind of the idea. Um, a shorter medium light rod is kind of what you want to go for. So those are the three rods. I'm going to link below. 
Um, make sure that you can take a look at some of the other models as well. Um, there's some stuff in between what I say, but those three rods will kind of cover your basics um, of most techniques um, and then not really get into the advanced ones that take a lot more very specific things. If you want three rods that you can fish most things and be very happy with and not worried about buying 30 different setups, those are the three I would recommend. So check them out below, Hard Outdoors.